Hey, this is Jimmy Broadfield. We are live with you again, as we are every Thursday. Um, as many of you know by now, uh, the NAB show has been canceled. Uh, the coronavirus is affecting businesses all over the place, and we know it is affecting our industry. So if ever there was a time on a Thursday afternoon you got to crack open a old one, I'm sure today is it. Uh, so join us for Broadfield's Liquid Lunch, as we do every week. Uh, today I have a great beer called Grey Lady from a brewery in New Hampshire. Uh, Grey Lady refers to uh, the nickname for the orphan foggy area, and this is a Belgian-style wit beer. Let's give it a taste. Very good. Nice, clean, crisp, uh, refreshing, and like I said, well needed after a week like this week. So we know a lot of our dealers, a lot of you guys are looking forward to going out to the NAB show. The NAB show has been officially canceled. We were watching our vendors announcing that they were not making trips to the show. We've seen travel bans all over the place. And then NAB did announce earlier this week that they are canceling the show. They have not announced any new plans yet, and we don't expect them to for at least a couple of weeks. The NBA season has been canceled. Uh, the March Madness tournament has been canceled. We will start seeing all of this uh, change over the next few weeks. In light of all of this going on with the coronavirus, we're seeing an uptick in China where they're starting to get back to business as usual after a nine-week uh, delay caused by the virus and trying to slow the spread. So we're expecting to see the same here in the U.S., and Broadfield is very optimistic, and see some of the opportunities in our industry. We know it's going to affect a lot of our dealers. We know it's going to affect Broadfield. Uh, but we also see a lot, of, a lot more companies putting an emphasis on being able to reach their customers with live streaming and the products that we sell and offer. The purpose of today's show is not to dwell on that and is to continue through with business as usual. Sometimes business as usual means it's going to be anything but usual. And that's what I'm talking to you about today. Both G Technology and New Tech have announced some inline product changes where they're slightly changing the way their products are packaged and we want to make sure that you're educated on what these changes are so you can share that information with your customers. Let's start with the G Technology G Speed Storage Solutions. G Speed, or, or the G Speed Shuttle Drives, are being changed and repackaged now so that every drive you sell is going to be fully populated with hard drive storage. Previously, they had the ones that were fully populated, and then they also had the EV series, which include the EV bay adapter instead of the populated drive. What G Technology is doing now is fully populating all of the shuttle solutions and including the EV series adapter for those who want to use that within their workflows. The family of G Tech drives is essentially three models. The G Speed Shuttle, which is the four bay model I have to the right of me here. The G Speed Shuttle SSD, which is the same physical four bay unit, but because the SSDs are smaller, this is actually an eight drive SSD array. And then of course, there's the G Speed Shuttle XL, which quite honestly is too large to fit on the table in front of me. So now with this new packaging solution, G Tech has taken one EV series bay adapter and packaged them with every G Speed shuttle or shuttle SSD. The shuttle XL is going to include two of these EV series adapters. So again, all of these drives are going to be fully populated with hard drive storage, but will also include the EV series adapter for your customers who are using that workflow solution. So let's start by talking about the G-Speed Shuttle, which is the four bay unit with a Thunderbolt 3 connection that you see in front of me here. This is available in either a 24 terabyte or a 56 terabyte. 
and again, it is going to be fully populated with drives. So a 24 terabyte solution is going to include four six terabyte drives. It will also be packaged in the box with this EV series adapter. If I choose to take one of these drives out of the unit itself, I can replace it with the EV series adapter that comes with it. And then in that, I can take something like the GTEC Master Caddy for Atomos and pop that in, or I could put in a red mini mag reader or a CFAST reader, which are all part of those EV solutions available from GTEC. So now what I have is a spare drive seated on the side, three six terabyte drives, and the EV series workflow solution with either the Atomos Master Caddy reader, like I have here, the red mini mag reader, or a CFAST reader built right into the solution itself. The G-Speed Shuttle SSD, pictured to my left over here, is the exact same physical size, but because the SSDs are smaller, you will see that there are two SSD drives in each bay. So now if we look at an eight terabyte solution, which has a $5,000 map, that is eight one terabyte SSD drives. In order to put my EV series bay adapter into this, I will have to remove two of those SSD drives. So then in that solution, I am going to have six terabytes of storage plus the EV series adapter in my SSD housing. The G-Speed Shuttle SSD is also Thunderbolt 3 and is available in either 8, 16, or 32 terabyte solutions. Then we go to the G-Speed Shuttle XL. The Shuttle XL is available in the exact same unit in either a Thunderbolt 2 or a Thunderbolt 3 connection. The Thunderbolt 2 connection is great for some of your enterprise users who are still using older MacBook, Mac Pros or HPZ workstations that haven't been upgraded to the Thunderbolt 3. On a Mac, you can use Apple's Thunderbolt 3 to Thunderbolt 2 adapter, but there is no such adapter that has been tested and qualified for a PC. So if you're working with customers that have a slightly older HP workstation or a Dell workstation with Thunderbolt 2, the G-Speed Shuttle XL with Thunderbolt 2 would be a great solution. These Shuttle XLs, because they're populated with eight drives, actually includes two of the EV series adapters, giving you the ultimate flexibility for several different workflows. The Thunderbolt 2 solution is available in a 48, 80, or 112 terabyte, starting at 39.99.95 Mac. The Thunderbolt 3 is available in the same sizes, starting at 43.99.95 MAP. And again, the only difference is the physical connection with the Thunderbolt 3 connectivity taking advantage of that faster throughput with the faster bus. The transfer speeds on the Thunderbolt 3 solution can be up to 2,000 megabytes per second. And then, of course, in this EV series bay adapter, you can go with the Atomos Master Caddy Reader for $99.95 MSRP, a CFAST Reader for $99.95 MSRP, or GTEx Red Mini Mag Reader for $199.95 MAP. The great thing about that Red Mini Mag Reader is that when you take that into an EV series adapter, into a shuttle or a shuttle XL, into a Thunderbolt 3, you are getting maximum throughput for the fastest workflow possible in your RED setup. Next, I want to talk to you about another inline change from a completely unrelated vendor, and that's NewTek. NewTek has announced some major updates to the TriCaster Mini SDI. 
of course, with that change comes a great opportunity. Broadfield has inventory of the TriCaster Mini SDI bundle at the promotional price of $99.95. This allows you to take advantage of this great deal for your customers to offer a $2,000 savings on this complete bundle. This is with our existing inventory that includes the TriCaster Mini SDI, which has the integrated monitor, the control surface, and of course, NewTech's custom travel case. This complete bundle at $99.95 is a great promotional opportunity while supplies last. The changes to the TriCaster Mini SDI, we will go over in just a moment, but what I want you to realize is that there are two ways to purchase that new hardware. The first is a la carte at $99.95, which is the same price you see here on this bundle. Or you can get the complete bundle, like I said, at $2,000 more, $11,995 to get that new version. So again, while we have inventory, this TriCaster Mini SDI is a great solution at a great price for under $10,000 for your customers that need that SDI live production system. So let's talk about the changes to the hardware. New Tech has announced that the new TriCaster Mini SDI is going to have an integrated NVIDIA Quadro GPU. We know that means GPU acceleration, but it also means that there's going to be four mini display ports built onto the hardware itself. They're going to be integrating dual NIC cards, which will give you load balancing and double the amount of NDI traffic. They're going to be including Windows 10 in the box, basically because they have to. Uh, Microsoft is only allowing Windows 10 in these new hardware that's being sold. There will be an internal one terabyte SSD drive, a USB-C connection, and a USB 3.1 port. There will be no screen built into the front of the new TriCaster Mini SDI units, and there will be a new power supply in brick. So again, these are some changes to that hardware. Not quite sure if those changes justify the $2,000 difference, which is why that $99.95 bundle is a great opportunity. Now look, we've been selling the TriCaster Mini SDI with that bundle at $11,995 all day. But to offer your customers this savings from our inventory makes it a no-brainer and a great deal. You will notice on the new tech price sheet that there are three different SKUs listed now for the TriCaster Mini. There is that $99.95 promotional bundle, which is the TriCaster Mini SDI from our inventory, which is the unit with the integrated screen in the front. The new units that will be shipping soon from NewTek are noted here with the BR2 or REV2 nomenclature at the end of it. So the first is the BR2, which is the bundle at $11,995. The second is the TCMA SDI R2, which is the REV2 of the hardware a la carte at $99.95. So again, the choices are the new hardware a la carte or the complete bundle with the, with the uh, same pricing. If you have any questions on these product changes from either G Technology or New Tech, give your Broadfield sales person a call. We'd be happy to help clarify it and help you find the best solution for your customers. Give us a call at 800-634-5178. Next week, I am inviting Gary Batan, president of Broadfield Distributing, to join us on the show. We're going to make this a little Broadfield State of the Union. I'm looking forward to talking to Gary about some of the great opportunities he sees in the industry, how the overall uh, global impact is going to affect our business and our dealers, and help prepare you to be on the forefront to take advantage of new opportunities as they come along. We're also looking forward to doing a Broadfield Dealer Spotlight, talking about all of the PTZ camera options we have available now. If you look at the Broadfield line card, we have PTZ camera solutions available from PTZ Optics, New Tech, Panasonic, 
bird dog, huddle cam, and more. So if you have any questions on finding the right PTZ camera for your solution, for your quote to your customers, give your Broadfield sales rep a call. Until next week, cheers.